Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. Wake up to this altar daily. After receiving ministration from Turning Point Audio, pray more on your own for as long as you can. Then do a short Bible study from our daily prayer booklet. Pray the day's prayer written in the book and follow the guideline on reading the entire Bible through systematically in a year. If you subscribe online with a token, it shall be sent to your phone for your daily engagement. For subscription and subscription renewal, chat with Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do yours now. Welcome also to Thursday, the twenty eighth day in March twenty twenty four. Please open your hand and heart to receive the prayers and be responding with Amen. I receive it. I declare and I decree the overwhelming blessings of God will come on you. God will do his wonders in your life that will make people around you to marvel. I want to pray for two groups. Call it two sets of people. Find out which one you belong, which one your loved ones belong, and stand in the gap for them. One, those living their dream lives. Life is good to you. You are achieving your aim. You are happy, happy with what you are doing and what you are getting. You are fulfilled and excited. You are making progress. You are seeing profit. You are living your dream life. If that is you, raise up your hand gently before God as a mark of, of appreciation as I pray for you. May you remain happy and fulfilled all your day long. You will grow better and faster. You will never miss it. God will raise you higher and higher, bigger and bigger, sweeter and sweeter, then better and better. You will live a fulfilled life, rich, prosperous, anointed, godly, healthy, impactful, and purposeful. Please keep thanking God every day and stay on your purpose. Don't lose track and don't lose focus. What you are doing that is giving you results, please do it more. Second group. And I have a heavy burden in my heart to pray for this second group. You are not fulfilled in what you are doing. You are not living your dreams. Things are not working out as you had wanted them to be. They are not adding up. You are struggling, but things are not moving. Things are hard and tough. For many of you, you are just not happy. This is not the kind of life you had wanted to live. You, you, you desire to get it right in life. More gracious, you had wanted to be very happy and be fulfilled. But now sometimes you cry, you feel helpless, no helper. Your things are not working as you desire. If this is you, if this is describing you, your husband, your wife, your son or daughter, or any of your loved ones, open your hand for this prayer. And I'm praying for you from my heart. God will come to your aid. God will intervene for you. You must have missed it or you are missing it somewhere. Receive grace to get it right. You need a destiny helper. Receive that grace today. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Refuse to be frustrated. Seek for counsel from a trusted, God-fearing, mature, and successful person. Your things will change. You will soon be living your dream. In Jesus' name, say amen. Please stay connected to Turning Point, both the audio and the booklet that I ask you to get and then subscribe for. Read and follow all our teachings there. Everything will so change and turn around for you. You will fulfill your dream. Say amen. March 28th, celebrant. Receive your body prayers. Be blessed. Be lifted. God will add days to your years and years to your year, to your days. You will live a long, productive, and fulfilling life. In Jesus' name, say amen. Happy birthday. Now, welcome to day four of our, of our week of intense, intentional, effective, and fervent prayers. Pray these prayers with all your heart. You can pray it over and over again after today. Then forward them to all your loved ones. So that let them also pray to your life, to their lives. They will see the hand of God. First prayer today. Let's start with Habakkuk chapter two, verse three. 
For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will not tarry. Pray like this with all your heart. I declare today, my appointed time has come. I have waited long enough. God, terminate the waiting today. Remove me from the waiting list. Remove my family and children from the waiting list. Remove my outfit from the waiting list. I have waited long enough. I prophesy. This is my appointed time. Right things must start happening for me. My time of restoration has come. My season of manifestation has arrived. And my hour of divine visitation is now. I confess it. I believe it. I receive it. Say amen. Yes, the appointed time for all your cherished desire has finally come. You will make it. Next, Isaiah 28 verse 18. And your covenant with death shall be annulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. You must pray this prayer very well. Say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I annulled all the covenant of death in my life and family. All evil and wicked programming and agreement of untimely death made on my behalf, all the covenant of death made by my ancestors, by the blood of Jesus Christ, you are hereby cancelled. I am under a new covenant made by the blood of Jesus. It's a covenant of long life, covenant of healthy life, covenant of prosperity and power, and covenant of fulfilled life in Christ. The same grace covers my children, my sibling, and my entire family. I shall live and not die. Jesus Christ died young so that I will live long. He became poor so that I may prosper. He was ridiculed so that I'll become a miracle. I shall not suffer what Jesus died to offer me in Jesus' name. Say a good amen. Next, Psalm 1 verse 3. And it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season. Its leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Pray this prayer with all your heart. It is a prayer that heaven must answer for you. Say, I am the tree planted by the riverside. I shall flourish and blossom in all I do. I will bring up my fruit in due season. I am a fruitful branch in a fruitful vine. My life shall be fruitful. My life will be fruit bearing. I will not know dry season. I draw my strength and nourishment from God who is my source. I shall not wither no matter the weather. My children will not wither no matter the weather. I shall be refreshed all day long. I prophesy to my hands, my hands from this day forward. Everything I lay you on to do shall prosper maximally. My hands are anointed to prosper. I believe it. I confess it. I receive it in Jesus' name. Say amen. Yes, answers must follow these prayers. Now, let's pray the last one today. It's from Psalm 115, verse 14. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. Let's add verse 15. Ye are blessed of the Lord, which made the heaven and the earth. Pray this prayer intentionally. Say, I am blessed by the God of heaven, the maker of man. I am blessed when I go out. I am blessed when I come in. I am blessed in all I do. I serve the God of increase. I serve the God of miracle. Oh God, increase me more and more. I prophesy more and more increase in my work, in God's anointing. And on my life, more and more understanding of God's words and ways, I receive more and more daily strength for me and my house. It is forward ever, backward never. I shall not suffer reduction. The Lord shall increase me. I will not lack help and assistance. The good things I enjoy now in life shall daily increase. And all my concerns, health-wise, financially, Maritally, all my concerns in this country, in this industry, on my children, on my career, 
shall receive quick divine intervention from God. I believe it, I confess it, and I receive it in Jesus' name. All say amen. Yes, it shall be so for you. We will build more on this tomorrow. Please forward this to all on your contact. Let them also pray these prayers. God will answer it for them. Today is the D-Day, the Prayer Mountain Service Day in Ikeja, Lagos. TPGF members and all listeners in and around Lagos, don't miss the Prayer Mountain today at Goshen Land, Ikeja, Lagos. Two services will run as usual. 7 to 9 a.m. is the first service. 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. is the second service. Prayer focus today is God. Put a royal garment on me. A kingly robe put on me. Last week, we did removal of evil garments. So this week, let's do royalty. Wear a very nice dress, a good one, colorful one from home. Dress kingly and dress queenly. It is for a prophetic impartation. Arrive on time. Anointed mantle shall be given out. Are free for praying and doing miracle. Bring things to represent things. For the things you want God to give for you. Prayer Monday is an inter- interdenominational service. It is done like the Sunday conventional service. It is prophetic. It is impartational. It is miraculous. Bring a bottle of water too that I will bless for you. These same two services we hold simultaneously in Dominion City, Ibadan, Kuluba Abelkuta, Oshogbo, Akure, Portacot, Uyo, Inakwa, Ibom State. All listeners in these cities locate our centers there and start attending. It shall also be live streamed to the whole world. Telephone numbers to call, SMS or chat for more information is Dupe on 0806-478-8392. Start calling, chatting, or send SMS now. Month is ending. So if you are a monthly title, battle, Thanksgiving, partnership commitment seed, the vows, and the seed of 3333, we are showing this third month of the year restoration and restoration many people are doing it and miracles are coming receive grace to be a tighter and a giver till the end of our lives is a covenant work with god we shall be tightening we shall be sowing seed so that his kingdom can be expanding and it will be blessing us if you want us to send you the commission's account including the paper detail for your regular tightening and seed send a chat message or please send me the commission's account to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. That line only. I speak to everyone's life today. Go and blow up. Go and see the effect of this prayer. Go and see the manifestation of wonders. What God cannot do does not exist because God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. God bless you.